How envious are you right now? What is it? I, I do, do they know? It's Sunday again, it's freezing cold. But we're here because of this, this is like a relic of the E36 world, of a show world. I remember growing up looking on the internet, like I was supposed to be doing schoolwork, homework and stuff. <laughs> and this was about, man, so holy hell. Again. This is, come back round to the front so you can see a little bit more. This is E36 royalty, isn't it? Trust me. Really? Who's it then? Joey Hazel, thank you, sir. Mr. Joey Hazel. Instagram. Yeah, I'll, yeah. Bang, I'll bang some shots into what this looked like in its prime. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, literally, this is one of the reasons why I got 36. Because I was big in this, like, I was looking at all the dubs, I had VWs and stuff, everything was smooth, Euro spec, and then you go to the show and you see a Beamer, which has got the same style and way quicker and just way radder, and then, then you go. I bought 36, everyone else bought 36s, and now we've got. Me yeah, <laughs> but none of ours are as nice as this. Yeah, no way, no way. Should we have a little run round? And just, I mean, because there are so many bits on this car, which is so rad. Let's just go from the front to the back. Carbon splitter, custom plate, no badge. Yeah, that's that's mad. No, no badge on the front, filled in. I think it's had a lot of parts taken off it as well, because he's got another one that is in the same colour. Yeah, he's got a Schnitzer Type 2, I believe. He's got 135i brakes as well. Which are big boys. There's six, Custom lettering on it as well with Joey. Pot. Six pot. Six pot. That's just some stopping power. Single pots usually. Yeah. Uh, schnitzer. Yeah, these are rad. Dog. Schnitzer. No indicators. So he has welded in a bit of metal and filled this, and it's just. Look how saucy that is. Ridiculous. You say work in front to back. Show me the lump that is inside this, because oh. this ain't. This ain't just. You know, your poxy 318. This isn't a show pony. This is not a show pony at all. <laughs> it's a cool engine. 300 and something brake, 320 brake or something. Yeah. That, Mike Jones. They, that is a lump. All right, cool. What else we got cracking then? Yeah, let's have a little butcher's inside it quick time. Yeah, so there have been some parts taken off. Like, I know I had a schnitzel steering wheel on it at one point. Um, but yeah, it's got carbon, carbon, expensive seats, carbon. What did you say? Have you ever seen so many buttons yeah, so inside? It's got, <laughs> it's got the OBC with telling you everything nice, and then a full tray underneath. I've never seen that. Is that a Schnitzer short kit? Yeah, that oh. is. It's a short, short shift kit. Obviously, yeah. this is crazy as well. The carbon fiber on the steering column, dude. Crazy. 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 Yeah, turn this one round responsibly. No, uh, no scumbaggery. <laughs> Alex banging in the sun. The fuel filler cap has got the bump removed from it. So this is what you're saying about the Euro style, in it? So. I mean, some people took it really extreme and like they get rid of. I remember I had a golf and I took my, my button off. Yeah, yeah, I've seen that a couple of times. I had to have a little button inside the dash or something to open a little solenoid to get the boot open. Uh huh. Uh, but yeah, actually mentioning that, it hasn't got a boot, um, BMW badge on the back as well. Yeah, little exhaust. Miltec exhaust. But this rear bumper, dude. Have you ever seen it? I, are you. Oh, you can see through it. Can you see through that? Yeah, I can see through that. Holy clap. Of Clappington. <laughs> There's no clap there, that is holy. This is the holy. That is all sauce, no penne, mate. Jesus, all <laughs> sauce, no penne. Yeah, I've never even seen a Schnitz rear bumper like that, because they did, I mean, I don't really know the whole Lots ins and outs of Schnitz, but they did two different types, I we, think. We did just try to Google it, and uh, the googly moogly wasn't very good for us. <laughs> we still don't know if it's a type one or a type two. I know the wheels are type two. So that, I mean, it actually has aerodynamic purpose, that thing, as well. So yeah. it's creating negative lift just by being there. Yeah. Pushing the ass on. So, but, I mean, really, we should mention, yeah, why no, do you, why, why you, of all people, why do you have this? Um, <laughs> once you're going over, checking all the bushes, maybe some arms and ball joints and things. Uh, A little brake, health check. Brakes bleeding and stuff. Yeah. Just, 
make sure everything's tip top so that man like Jory ain't gonna get ripped off by some budgeries. <laughs> but no, so you're about to open the uh, the boot and reveal what is the biggest yeah. thing that we're about to. Uh, well, you, I ain't got a scooby what I'm doing, but. Yeah, we'll figure it out. Show you the ropes, mate. No, we won't even. We're getting Gresswell here. <laughs> Gresswell's going to give us hand. Yeah, Gresswell's <laughs> going to come down and help us fit all these, all these saucy bits. Airlift. So, at the end of this video, we'll be doing some oh, noises. Show, show, so yeah, the plan is to get it in the workshop, do some stuff on it, fit some stuff to it, and then yeah. Cool. What you said. <laughs> Peroni in hand. Oh, it's sinking. Hang on. Preset button. Where is it? Bruh. <laughs> See how high it goes. Jeez, man. Yes, man. Mr. Joshua. The wizard spud me, I man. Too much, mate. <laughs> <laughs> that was sick. Yes. Yeah. I think, I think what it is is they have like a uh, setting in here that doesn't let you air it out, so you don't drive down the motorway and air out on accident. Uh, so it'll let you do all the other presets. Yeah. I just can't believe that you, you're controlling the Damn. suspension yeah. on the car from your blower, mate. Yeah. How was your installing airlift for the first time good, with? Man. Well, I Wizard. mean, he's out of the shop. <laughs> not really a weird, though. There's no one doing kinda. I'm winging it really. Yeah, I mean that's that's the weasel way, is it not? <laughs> the Gresswell way as well. <laughs> that's me. No, it's all right. Um, it's done. It's on the floor. I'm surprised. I always thought, like watching people have air ride and stuff, I thought it would be like so 
mad complex, but really. Nah, nah, nah. It's a piece of piss, really. Uh, just expensive. Really expensive. That's the one to put are, you, are you an air rider or a coilover nah, 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 man? Nah, nah, nah. I'm a coilover man, thick and free, mate. When this had the BBSs on it. Yeah, you've actually Faster. seen it at a show, haven't you? Like, back in the day. Like, I didn't realise, I didn't recognise it on these wheels. And then I looked back on his Instagram and I was like, now I remember. Now I remember that car. And it is sick. OG car. Cool. Air ride done. Probably end on some nice cinematics. So, big ups to yourself. Yeah, Serious big ups. You want to say thanks to Boulders? Big ups to Boulders. <laughs> <laughs>